All right, guys, we are going to be testing out some various different fuses. Actually, I think this is most all the fuse that they offer. Um, some various different fuses from canonfuse.com. And we've got a really good variety of it here, and we're gonna be testing one foot of each of these fuses to see if the time on the packaging is correct. I've done stuff like this before, but I like to keep doing it as I get more packs. And sometimes I don't always film it, but I like to do it just so I can confirm, you know, out of each roll that I get what the actual time is. So I'm doing firework displays. I, I don't know about you guys, but I like to know what it is exactly. So starting here, we've got some perfect hobby fuse, popularized by big fireworks, and you guys should all know that. I'm gonna be testing this out on the packaging. It says it goes about 8.1 to 9.2 seconds per foot. And so we will see if that is correct. We've got some medium artillery hobby fuse, something that you can use for either shell building or shell fusing. And we've got a fuse rate here of 3.7 to 6 seconds per foot. Let's see if that's accurate too. Got the medium cake fuse, which I've got an entire video on. Actually, you know what? I lied. It was on this one. But we've got the medium cake fuse here, which is for 500 gram cakes. I really don't know why we haven't done a video with this stuff yet, but it's coming soon. You can see burn time there is 20 seconds, so about four seconds faster than your Canon fuse. So if you're doing 500 gram cakes, this is almost timed perfectly for the 500 gram cakes. And what you do is you space those about a foot apart from each fuse, and this should ignite them all off on the correct timing. We'll be testing that out too. Um, one of my favorite new items, I don't know if this was available in 2018, but I know they started selling a lot of this in 2019. This is called the Fast Cake Fuse. I've actually got a whole video on this thing. If you wanna click right here, you can watch that video. Um, this burns apparently at 15 seconds per foot. So perfect for 200 gram cakes. So just so you guys know if you had any questions, medium cake fuse is for 500 gram, whereas this is for 200 gram. You got a five second difference between the two, and that makes one hell of a difference when you're doing a show. So you gotta know that. We got fast artillery fuse, one of my go-to fuses for when I'm doing my angled 18 shot racks. Um, the spacing on those racks is about a half a foot apart between each tube. And I find that this really helps that effect where you get one shell after the other and you're not just getting random volleys and stuff like that. Um, so one of my favorite fuses right here, very handy, I use it all the time. And fuse speed on there is about 2.1 to 2.8 seconds. So very precise, you're not even that much of a difference between the two. We'll test it out just to be sure. Then we've got quick hobby fuse, stuff I've been using since 12 years old. Um, this is the fastest, most reliable fuse that you're gonna get on the consumer market unless you upgrade to quick match and things like that, but then you gotta get your license for that. Uh, this burns at roughly 0.1 to 0.4 seconds per foot. And let me tell you, that is fast as hell. This is what I do all of my finales with. In fact, I've never done a finale without quick hobby fuse. Um, it used to have some different packaging and was called something else but it's always been gray. What, there was one year when it was yellow, but this year it's gray, so pretty cool. Uh, one thing I took out of the packaging already, because it's kind of confusing, I'll tell you a little bit about it here in a sec. Got Slow Cannon Hobby Fuse. I don't mistake this for Green Visco because it is definitely not Green Visco. Um, this stuff burns at about 28.6 to 29.3 seconds a foot, so it's pretty much 30 seconds a foot and green visco burns at 24 seconds, I think. You will also notice that most green visco is three millimeters in diameter, whereas this is 3.5, so a little thicker and there's gloss on here. Now, to my understanding, this is the sort of fuse that you wanna use if you're building shells or something similar. I think you can do firecrackers, but I'm not sure. Um, but just that extra thickness and the gloss on there Really helps if you're building shells because you know you have to insert the fuse there from the ball to the lift. This is what you want to use for that. To my understanding anyway, I haven't really used this stuff, um, but we're gonna go test it out just to see how accurate these times are. All right, so all this fuse here that you see, 
is available at canonfuse.com. If you guys would like to get 10% off your fuse for a limited time only, you can use my code at checkout time, and that's gonna be Cody B Pyro. I'll even spell it out and put it on the screen here. All right, we're gonna cut a foot length of each of these fuses and go test it out. All right, we're here at the gravel pit and you can't really see the fuses there, but if you look closely, I've got them all underneath a rock. Um, that's gonna help it so it doesn't take off like a rocket when it gets near the end. So I guess we'll start with the fastest, most aggressive fuse. This is the Quick Hobby Fuse. And I wish I could put a time somewhere down here in the bottom, but unfortunately you guys are gonna have to start your stopwatches. To the best of my ability, I'll try to put the time that each one burned in the video. Here goes the quick hobby fuse. Pretty fast, almost scary. All right, now let's try the medium cake fuse. stuff. Um, let's try the perfect fuse. Oh, I think that one's going to take off. Okay, that one's done. Let's try medium artillery fuse. Pretty quick. Here goes fast cake fuse. Nice. Here goes fast artillery fuse. See, very similar to quick fuse there. Burns real fast and aggressive. Um, all right, the last one is the red gloss fuse, which is the 3.5 millimeter stuff. This should burn fairly slow. Well, there you have it. One foot of each fuse from canonfuse.com. Hope you guys enjoyed.